So, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Khadija here. I have not recorded a video in a very long time and if this, well actually the other video that you're gonna see is probably gonna be after this video so I'll probably have on the same exact thing and you'll see these little streamers and you'll know why later. But while I'm sitting here, I want to go ahead and do a video because I haven't recorded one in a really long time. So. This video is about my pregnancy. It's a pregnancy update. I haven't really done one at all. Um, and as of today, um, today is April 24th, 2020. I am 19 weeks and two days. Um, so next week I will be at the halfway mark. And yeah, so let's kind of get started with some stuff that's been going on. Um, being pregnant during this pandemic and all. Whew, I'm out of breath, but yeah. Um, let me see. Um, so, found out I was pregnant in January, very early on at the very beginning, and I'm grateful because I've been able to kind of, I don't know, progress with everything. I know like my sister found out when she was like really late, um, like four or five months, I think. So, yeah. So, what happened during my first trimester, because I'm now in my second trimester. The first trimester was, it's not as tough as some people, I guess like it's not as bad as some women have had it I guess my only thing for me personally that I went through was I was tired all the time and I say all the time I am NOT exaggerating like 85 90 percent of the time I was tired um, I was still in London um, during my first trimester and I just I slept a lot I napped a lot um, yeah I wasn't doing much and at the time um I just came back home or I just went back to London I was at home for Christmas break and I was like maybe I'm tired because of the traveling and the time difference and all that and then if I found out I was pregnant so I was like maybe that's why I continued to be tired for that week after I got back and yeah that was why so that literally continued for my entire first trimester um I was just tired and yeah that's a normal thing so yeah that was all that happened really i was not um i didn't have any morning sickness i do think now i might have been nauseous a lot but i really wasn't i i don't i don't really know like i know if i'm going to vomit or throw up but it wasn't that feeling it was like like i just couldn't stand up very long or if i did i felt like i just needed to sit right back down um, so that might have been me being nauseous, I don't know. But that's all, I didn't throw up not once to this day, knock on wood. I still have not thrown up at all. Um, I've been fine. So, thank God for that. Um, what else? Oh, well, that really wasn't my first trimester. It's mostly kind of really kicked in um, the start of the second trimester. Um, my boots. They hurt so freaking bad sometimes. Um, let me see, probably like the last few days have been fine, but like last week and then those previous two to three weeks and probably three weeks, they were hurting so bad, like on and off all day, like every day pretty much um, to the point where there was a few times I cried. I didn't want my boyfriend to touch me. He would try to rub my back. I'm like, leave me alone, not right now um yeah and it wasn't i don't even know hopefully i mean it's not like i'm getting paid for this video or anything but i don't want to get i don't want it to get flagged or anything so the specific region of this area not boobs but a part of the boob anyway that is what mostly hurt it literally felt like somebody was pinching and twisting and then setting them on fire it was terrible and that's the only way I can describe it and yeah I couldn't do anything it just eventually it would stop so yeah that's all um and every now and then now I'll have like a morning where I don't feel great and then it'll go away like 
yeah like i'll wake up a little tired and not really wanting to do anything and then over the time it's like i kind of just like fully wake up and so that's it um hmm Oh, sorry. I don't even know what else to say, honestly, about the pregnancy update. Um, my thoughts. Um, oh, um, with everything going on, um, like I said, I'm 19 weeks, two days today. I was supposed to have had last week at my appointment. Um, I was supposed to have had an ultrasound, but because of this pandemic, because of this virus, um, they moved my ultrasound. Um, they pushed it back a little later, like three weeks later. So now it's not next week, it'll be the week after next week. So I still have just under two weeks left before I find out what this baby is going to be. And I'm so excited because I've wanted to know for a while and I was, I was so excited to find out at the last appointment, they said that they would most likely be able to tell, but now they should definitely be able to tell. Sorry, my AC just cut on. I'm going to cut it off only because. I'm recording but I am getting a little warm under this light okay and it should cut off in a second but while I'm standing up okay so from the front I guess starting here this is where I am I'm going to try and move this camera back a little bit I don't know the lighting might be a little off now anyway this is me right now and then from the side, if you can tell, um, the only thing I've eaten today, I ate a little breakfast sandwich and drunk caramel macchiato, the little Starbucks one. And that's all I've eaten today, but this is me right now. I'm not sucking it in. I haven't been able to soak in my stomach in a very long time, okay? So, this is me right now, 19 weeks. And you can probably, it's probably blending into my leggings a little bit. But yeah, 19 weeks. So, hmm, bring that back. Oh, hopefully you can hear me because literally the air just cut off. Um, but yeah, that's how I look right now. Um, I feel like I, I'm still, I guess it depends on what I'm wearing. You can't really tell. It might just look like I gained a little weight. But I realized also I only have a one earring. So, um, other than that, I'm feeling good um, most days. And my boyfriend, he's excited, I'm excited. Um, with that appointment that I had last week, he wasn't able to come to the appointment with me. We didn't realize it um, until we had gotten to the appointment. It was at 8.40 in the morning and it was his day off. So he wasn't very happy for one that he got up and then he wasn't able to go in. Um, we got to the front desk and they had like ropes and stuff set up or like little things for you to kind of go through and right when we got into the front desk normally we just bypass it and keep going because we know where we're going but um you had to check in with the front desk and she told us that there were any like extra visitors besides the patient so he couldn't go in um luckily like i said they did push back the ultrasound anyway so he didn't really miss much um the only thing they did i had to do my glucose test oh so i can talk about that also make sure it's still recording um my glucose test went fine um i know they normally say they have like the red the orange and sometimes is there a purple one maybe anyway they said they had a new flavor it was like a limeade one so the lady said it tasted like ginger ale or kind of like a sprite sprite is my favorite soda i try not to drink soda so much but i love sprite and so i was like i'll go with that one yeah, I did it. It literally did. It tasted like Sprite to me, minus the carbonation. It's kind of just tasted like a flat soda, in my opinion. And yeah, that went fine. Got it done the first time, and yeah, that's it with that. I didn't have any, any crazy story about it, so it went fine for me. I would recommend that one if you're like, I, I don't really know because I don't have anything to compare it to, but it tasted fine to me. Um. But yeah, so he didn't miss anything at that appointment. I did a glucose test and they drew a bunch of blood for like different testing for the baby and stuff for like developmental things. And what else? Oh, and we listened to the heartbeat. Um, I can play the heartbeat right now. Maybe you can hear it if I can find it. Oh, here we go. Hold on. 
Make sure my phone is cut all the way up too. Um. So yeah, that was baby's heartbeat at 18 weeks last week. Um, technically I was like 17 weeks and six days, but you might as well say 18 weeks. So at 18 weeks and things that the heart rate was at about like one fifth in the 150s. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I'm trying to think anything else baby related that I can give you guys an update on. I don't really have much, honestly. Um, like I said, it's been going good. Um, I'm excited. I'm not nervous. People have asked me if I'm scared or nervous or anything. You know, I feel, I mean, maybe when it gets closer, maybe. Um, as far as feeling if baby is moving, um, I don't know because I don't know what it feels like. Sometimes I feel something and I start to like look up different things to see if what I'm feeling might be the baby moving. I don't know. So I still am unsure. But um, from like looking at everything, um, what I'm feeling is like I tried to explain it to my boyfriend. Oh, I just spit a little bit. Anyway, I tried to explain it to my boyfriend and I was like, it feels like my stomach goes like this and then stops. But I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, it literally just feels like sometimes I have like, I don't know, butterflies. And it's kind of like a couple of seconds, maybe like two seconds and then it will stop. And then if I keep my hand, like sometimes I'll just be sitting there and then, or not even my hand, it's like I'm just sitting there and I feel it. And then once I try to put my hand there, then it stops. So I'm like, maybe that wasn't, maybe that was something else. And then I was looking up other things and it was like, oh, it feels like your stomach is having contractions, sort of. Which I'm like, hmm, maybe that's a good way to explain it. Or, I can't, I literally don't know how to explain the feeling that I'm having. So I'm like, maybe it is, baby, because I don't think I've had this feeling before. And yeah, that's it, I think. Whew. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe I'm pregnant still. It's so weird to say. Um, yeah, my boyfriend will just be sitting here and he's be like, babe. I'm like, what? He was like, can you believe it? I'm like, believe what? He's like, we are having a baby. And I'm like, I uh, know. I really cannot believe it because I don't know. It's just for, I don't know. I said I wanted kids for the longest and now I'm like, oh, it's happening. It is really happening. And I guess like, I don't know, sometimes I think I'm younger than I am and I can't believe that I'm 26 already. So it's not a bad time to have a baby. This year, this specific year may not be the best time <laughs> given everything that's happening now, but you know, <sighs> I have faith that God will see me through this and everything that's going on right now I don't know why stuff is happening, but sometimes it's not meant for you to understand. <laughs> like I said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to uh, upload more. It was kind of hard to upload in general. For one, I just wasn't motivated. Um, I kind of already had this camera set up, so I was like, why not? Anyway, like I said, I'm rambling now. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know um, in the comments below any questions or thoughts um yeah and i will see you guys in the next one hope you have a good day stay safe stay home even if you really want to go out just you know just chill it's okay um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one